Today we'll be taking a look at a best of three series of Professional StarCraft 2, a Protoss vs. Zerg match starting off on the map Babylon. In the upper left corner here warping in is the blue Protoss player, Max Pack. And there's Zerg opponents spawning into the bottom right corner, the red drones and hatchery belonging to Scarlet. Max Pax versus Scarlet. The hatch block, dare I say, was successful. A win for the Protoss robots already on the board in terms of minor victories. Will it play a role? Uh, only time will tell. Now, gotta make your way up into the main base, probes being problematic. Scarlet undeterred though. Gonna keep the drones mining, keep them busy. The pool gets thrown down. And nobody's doing anything unusual. How dare they? Not the Protoss versus Zerg I asked for. Nexus before core. Things are fine. Things are safe. And with taking the base over here, Scarlet actually taking the base over here, I think it's probably going to be a few minutes before everybody gets up and running. How are you today, my beautiful viewer? I hope you're having a fine day. I hope it gets a little bit better. But I hope it's fine. Nothing bad happening. Pool gonna finish up almost at 100 gas. Two Zerglings coming out. The probe actually does take some minerals. Decides, ooh, I like that patch. Yoink. Take a little bit. Drone gonna start to be rallied down to what I will still call the third base. Despite it being taken second. I cannot call this the Naturey. What are you talking about? This, clearly, the Natural Hatchery. The Naturey has been taken. Quick third base, Stargate is the tech building of choice from the Protoss here, who also has a couple of adepts coming out. What's the plan going to be? Sometimes when you see the hatch block go out successfully, it can lead into a decent aggressive move, an aggressive timing, in the sense of the Zerg is trying to rally their drones farther out, the creep spread is not connected, can a few adepts warp in? Can some adepts get in? Maybe kill off some drones a little bit easier, a little bit more safely for the adepts. Gonna shade up into the main base though, the, the reverse of what I was talking about. I was talking about going into the third base. They get the creep tumor, oh, oh dear. Adept's gonna be caught by the lings who were prepared at the shade location, even the creep tumor going to survive. Almost gets two tumors though, tumors. Oracle. Second Oracle on the way. Losing both Adepts. I don't know. I don't know if I really like that choice or not. The Oracle makes its way into the third base. Going to pick off just three drones. Still activated though. And do a little bit of damage on an egg, it looked like. <laughs> hmm. Well, Spore Crawlers are on the way. And queens are, of course, in existence, so I doubt the oracle is going to get anything crippling. Done. And not really anything game winning. You gotta remember, the main purpose of the oracle, unless you lose it, is scouting. It's intel. It's a gathering of information. The harassment opportunity is more of a, a cool benefit, like icing on top of your favorite cupcake. Mmm, cupcakes. Am I casting hungry again? Probably. Orge on the way. Twilight on the way for the Protoss. What's the 
twilight choice going to be? So far, we've seen really only adepts and oracles. I kind of doubt it's going to be glaives. But it could be. I cannot rule it out. I can only hope with wishful optimism it's not going to be a glaive attack. Scarlet feeling a bit confident, gonna take that fourth base. Oracle gets two drones over on the far right side. Oracle's over here, gonna spot that fourth base going down. Spore Crawler Queen going to. Ah, well, going to deter the Oracles. They also ran out of energy, which is a pretty strong deterrent, too. So Oracles are feeling very tired, sick of getting so many drone kills. Scarlet getting a few worker kills, though. Gonna try and even up the count. These stalkers do not have blink, which means they no longer have any life. Blink very far away. Yes. Where are the oracles? There's one up here. Oh, the other two were dancing around, potentially coming home for defense. This one is actually still alive. This is the original one, the OG oracle. Oh dear, what is going on up here? Wish I hadn't seen that. Ling's gonna pick off what looks to be an adept out front and we see the Zerg's tech choice coming out. Lair timed with the Bane Nest. Plus one melee attack on the way as well. So a Ling Bane composition versus Protoss. Scarlet, of course, has the creep spread for it. Look at this map already. We are not even seven minutes in, and the creep is nearly halfway there, with Max Packs killing some creep tumors. Can I see how many? Two. Tumors were lost. And the creep spread is still almost halfway across the map. Hydra Den on the way as well. Ling Bane Hydra for the Zerg. Oracle picked off. Should have seen that one come and didn't see that one in your uh, your bowl of future cereal. How do oracles tell the future? I'm going to go with they, they have their bowl of cereal in the morning, whatever their choice of cereal is. Future O's, we'll call it. And they see what's supposed to happen that day, but apparently either one of them didn't see that or didn't have cereal that morning. Saw the Templar Archives. Decent stasis word. Gonna catch some Zerglings. Storm is on the way here, and Scarlet has a large group of Ling Bane here. Will be able to stop the Banes for the most part. Zealot taking most of the hits there. Stalker's blocking the right side. The Lings over here going to actually just back up. There's an Archon on the way. Power has reached overwhelming levels. Storm is halfway done. Which means, I, I feel like Max Pax is going to want to just hunker down and be defensive for the next couple minutes, while they presumably have some Templar building energy. Get your Storm upgrade. Get your plus one armor at long last. Start to mass up some charge locks. Ling's going to take out their anger and fury onto the nearby rocks before morphing into a few Banelings. Speaking of Banelings, we see them rolling. Archon. Oh, don't get caught too far out. Stasis Ward gonna catch a few of the Links. Scarlet setting up multiple attack groups here. Will the Banes be able to get through the probes are going to be pulled? Which means damage should be minimal. Mostly losing Zealots, really. Scarlet sacking mostly Ling Bane. Can they get out? Almost all of them can get out. <laughs> There's queens. When you're spreading creep at your opponent's rate, really? You don't think that's a little ambitious, Scarlet? Ling Bane Hydra gonna start to pressure this left side over here. Grooved spines just 10 seconds out. There's Bane Links rolling in. Max Pax doesn't see it. Oh, timed pretty well with the probes transferring over from the third base. 29 probes going to go down. That could be game ending damage right there. Max Pax knocked down to 55 probes 
charge about to finish up, but the income has taken a nasty hit. It's going to be up to the storm, and it looks like all of the Templar on the map are fresh. No energy. Not enough energy for a storm, which means this Lingbane Hydra attack. There's even queens spreading creep up here. <laughs> it's just going to be called Scarlet getting a bit too much damage done with that Baneling attack. Meanwhile, the pressure on the other side from the Lingbane Hydra gonna be too much. I'm gonna have to hand that victory over to the Queens though when you can spread creep on your opponent's fourth base. It kind of tells a story for how the game's going. Scarlet goes up one point in this series. We find ourselves on the map Dragon Scales for map number two in this series. In the upper left corner here the Reds are spawning in one point up. It is... Scarlet. And the Protoss opponent in the bottom right here down one point but not quite out of the series just yet. Give it up for Max Pax. Ling Bane Hydra getting the job done in game number one. It looks like the hatch blast. It's not even gonna try. Scarlet just rallied that drone over to the third. No care. Not a care in the world. Sets up the hatch. Gonna take it. Scarlet completely content to take the third base. Probe successful. Probe happy with its shenanigans. Makes its way up into the main base yet again. Deja vu, you might say. Little different this time though, the drone feeling angry, feeling slighted. It's gonna be pulled off the line just to do a little bit of damage. I could see pulling a drone. I could see pulling one drone. You know, Zerg, you, you may not want to. You may want to try and make sure you squeeze it. every bit of income out of these drones that you possibly can. I could see getting mad enough. Maybe that's what the Protoss wants, though. Maybe their entire MO, the entire goal for the Protoss is just to make the Zerg mad. Because we all know, when you get mad, you get emotional, you start to make mistakes. Start Things start to slip up. You know, Scarlet's creep spread may only cover 88% of the map instead of 90% of the map. Oh, huge error. Massive mistake. How could this happen? Maybe that's exactly what Max Pax is hoping for. The pool is going to finish up, which is the cue for the probe to get out of the base, though. And, of course, the probe is going to take five minerals with it. Just check. Were you just checking the creep? Make sure. Did you actually take that base, Scarlet? Scarlet did actually take that base. Stargate is the tech choice for the Protoss again. Big surprise. Show me that's a dip. The shade looks so cool. It's like a ghost, but not like a Terran ghost. I mean like a, a spooky ghost, like Halloween ghost. Look at that. That's kind of rad. I don't, I don't really appreciate Adepts as much as other Protoss units, but it, it, it's kind of a neat thing, kind of a neat idea. What's it gonna be from the Stargate? Probably an oracle. It's an oracle. We can hope for something else, but it's usually the oracle. Two adepts over on the Zerg side of the base are going to complete the shade, start to get a little damage done on the Zerglings, it seems. Zerglings going to be pulled back, though. Scarlet used to this dance. <laughs> the, drones. the drones and the lings having to be shuffled around, juggled just a little bit. To ensure nothing actually dies. Nothing dies. Lawless victory so far from both players because nobody's actually killed anything. Oracle Adept yet again. I don't feel we really got to see what Max Pax wanted to do in that first game. I know Max Pax was getting Storm. He had Archons on the way. But like, 
what was the play? Was it gonna be a, a Blink Stalker Archon move? Hoping for that. Adept's gonna shade into the third Oracle in the main base. Oh, so close to losing it. The Adepts looks like they are going to lose their lives at least. Seven drones is the payday. Is it worth it? <laughs> the terror that these drones are feeling run. Picking off the larva, how rude. Nine drones picked off in total now. Three more on the way, spore crawlers being made. Scarlet, you know, a little, I, I don't wanna say late or slow on the spores, but it feels like, you know, or maybe just the oracles weren't expected. Maybe they weren't seen coming. Come on, we should expect that. And where are you fine ladies going? Are the Lynx going to try and draw the oracles away? What is the target here? Scarlet? What are you mad you lost nine drones? Fine. The march of the queens. The queens are called up to the front line. The target is the third base. <laughs> there is no creep here. These queens cannot transfuse. But it doesn't look like they're going to need to. Max Packs actually evacuate the third base. There's some drone damage somewhere, but this is the focus. This is all we care about. The queens, they, they leave just as quickly as they arrived. The third base is going to be destroyed. Max Packs might be wanting to take advantage of the fact there's no queens on the Zerg side of the map. Almost losing an oracle there. Lynx testing the waters at the natural. Blink Stalkers. Well, not quite Blink Stalkers just yet, but Stalkers warped in for the defense. And the Queens. Well, I might as well plant a Creep Tumor down while I'm out here, yes. Of course. The March of the Queens. I didn't expect that. I didn't see that one coming. Forgot to have my bowl of Futuros this morning. So... Oh. So with that development, I can now say uh, there's a Nexus lost on the board. 13 drones have been killed off in total, and Scarlet seems to be in a fine position for the game. And neither one's really taken any crippling damage. Nothing, nothing too catastrophic. Losing the third base is never fun for the Protoss, sure, but... It also wasn't heavily saturated. I don't even think any probes really died in there. Only four probes have been killed so far. So, it, the loss was really just the nexus. It was the, the real estate, the location value, guys. And it was depreciating anyways. Over here with this, all this sand, beach, front property, this is much better real estate. Set up a couple Protoss condos, try and sell them off. Revelation creep spread gonna be dealt with just a little bit. Ooh, Max Pax might be looking to take a little vengeance here. You destroyed my Nexus, I'm gonna go for your hatchery. Blink is finished, the oracles are here to support, and the lings are going to be dealt with over at the new third base. Oh, they did get the hatchery. Max Pax snipes off the hatchery. Vengeance for the fallen Nexus is taken. Oracle, trying to keep up with Zerglings, which is a surprisingly difficult task. You wouldn't think that would be a very difficult task when you're piloting a starship. But, uh, you know, those little critters down there, they look like some poor feller's dog, Sarge. Yeah, yeah, they, they can book it. Speedy little buggers. Speaking of the speedy little buggers, um, Scarlet, you know there's other units, right? Like, this is a lot of Zerglings. This is a lot of Zerglings. 63 drones. And the best stasis ward. Oh my god, the stasis ward was being made in the pile of zerglings. 
Like, how many is that? I, I'm gonna let you guys just pause. You can count it. Let me know. Because <laughs> that's a lot of links, and some of them go right into another stasis. Oh dear. Well, Max Pex coming out with a heck of a stasis ward, delaying Scarlet's uh, three base Zergling attack here. Or is it actually going to help Scarlet, who's trying to get plus two attack as well? Storm is on the way. I'm not sure Storm is really going to be ready in time to help out, though. Maybe a couple of Archons? Charge lots do pretty well against Zerglings, too, as long as they don't get surrounded. And it's pretty tough to not get surrounded when the amount of Zerglings on the map is over 150. Banelings going to roll into the mineral line here. Probes in peril. Lings at the third base. Banelings caught in a stasis ward. 20 probes falling so far. Lings in the stasis ward. It looks like the Templar were turned into Archons. It was probably more of a panic move than something Max Pax actually wanted, though. And more Lings are on the way for Scarlet, who is getting damage done. Actually getting some damage done in both locations. Gonna chase away the Stalkers, leaving this base... <coughs> the defenses in the Oracle's hands, which are not proving to be very capable at their job right now. The Nexus almost destroyed. Ling's going to be cleaned up in the third base. 37 probes go down though. That's not good. Max Pax does not have the money. Max Pax is out of minerals. The Nexus is going to be destroyed. The third base is now the target. And we're trying to push some Archons around to try get them a little closer. The base is alive so far, but there's still more Lings coming. Scarlet, with this like three base Ling Bane all in, the plus two Banes doing great work against the probes. The Archon is going to get caught and surrounded the rest of the forces in peril, in fear of their lives. Scarlet is going to take the series 2-0. Well done. A lot of lings. Now I have to decide. Do I go with March of the Queens? Or do I go with so many Zerglings? Ugh. An entertaining series nonetheless. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know in the comments below, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Have a great day.